The following segment is sponsored by the Walton Family Foundation. Whether you live near the coast or you're landlocked, if you eat seafood, you can play a part in keeping our oceans healthy. October is National Seafood Month, and it is the perfect time to put spotlight on the health of our oceans and the role played by sustainable seafood. Joining us to explain is Teresa Ish, oceans and environment expert with the Walton Family Foundation. Welcome to the show, Teresa. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So let's start off with why does sustainable seafood even matter? Well, I'm really excited to kick off National Seafood Month with you. It's a great time to consider what it means to eat sustainably. I think a lot of us, uh, when we think about the person producing our food, we think of a farmer on a tractor, but fishermen are really vital to our food supply and our food systems. And whether you live on the coast or you live miles and miles from the beach like we do, choosing sustainable seafood matters. And choosing sustainable seafood means you're helping to support ocean health, and you're also helping to support responsible fishermen in coastal communities. And when we talk about sustainable seafood, we're looking for that balance between protecting important ocean ecosystems and also producing food for a growing population that relies on fish for food and nutrition. Perfect. Well, I know there are many consumers out there who want to buy sustainable seafood, but how do they know if it's sustainable when they're purchasing it at a store? When you eat out anywhere in the world and you're eating chicken, there is one species of chicken. But there are 2,500 different kinds of seafood that people eat. So no matter what flavor profiles you like or what your budget requires of you, there is a sustainable seafood option for you. Fortunately, when you go to the grocery store, you can find sustainable seafood most places. One of the things you can look for is a certification, a label on the package that tells you it's sustainable. You can use some of the many seafood cards out there that help you choose sustainable seafood. But if there's no information where you're shopping at your, or at your restaurant, you can ask what they're doing to support healthy oceans, and responsible fishermen. And I think you'll be surprised that most grocery stores in the United States have a sustainable seafood program, and they can recommend which products are the most sustainable when you're buying your fish. Perfect, easy enough. Okay, we're landlocked here, so how does the ocean connect to my community? The ocean and water everywhere connects us all through the food we eat and through the health of the planet. I'm also landlocked. I'm coming to you from Denver and every breath I take and a lot of the meals on my plate require a healthy ocean to sustain us. When we talk about the role of fishermen, it's really similar to the role of farmers as backbones of rural communities. And just like farmers are caring for their fields, fishermen are really at the front line of ocean conservation. And so even from a landlocked state, when we choose sustainable seafood, we're choosing to support a healthy ocean and helping it better sustain the people who in turn sustain us. Perfect. Teresa, thank you so much for being with us today and the information you shared. We've enjoyed talking to you. Thank you so much, Laura.